Hey folks, thanks for joining me. This is Daryl, aka Rotor Baron, uh, coming you from to uh, ugh, coming to you from an indisclosed location outside of Houston, Texas, in the middle of the woods. Let me tell you, it is May and it is humid, and you can see it all over my face. Now I am wearing the cooling vest. Um, and it is making a difference for me. I am much more comfortable. Um, not stopping the sweating though, um, so I got to say that. Uh, but I would much rather have it on than not have it, even with or without all of this on. Uh, it, I would still be sweating like a pig. So overall, cooling vest, thumbs up. So, one of the fun things to do when you're camping in Houston is a crawfish boil. Unfortunately, I found out I don't like crawfish. In college, my roommate used to joke that I needed my own personal air conditioning system. I found it. Finally. I am... Alright, I am going to give you an overview of how the shirt goes together. And the first part is to put on the vest. I said shirt, I meant vest. And here we go. Start off with the cooling vest as our first layer. Vest on and all tucked in. <clears throat> Next up is the shirt. And that's it. <clears throat> that is all that goes into the cooling vest. So just to recap how this works is here is the bladder which gets filled with ice and water or you can just freeze this if I had a freezer camping, which I don't. So we're relying on ice. Yes, this is camping, everybody. They're roughing it. Second part is the backpack where the bladder is stored. Goes up in here, right there. Got our uh, battery that goes here, connected to our motor with our little on off switch. And this pumps cool water throughout the vest. All those little uh, tubes that you saw running throughout the vest carry the cold water and keeps me nice and cool. So, rather than talking about it, I'm going to go load the thing up with ice and get myself some cool weather. Personal cool weather. My cool weather. Weather. Yay. <laughs> 